I will reveal to you some great light bulb recycling tips. Please follow the steps I have done. First, I used a broken laid box light. Then I used a screwdriver to remove each screw on the light box. Please subscribe to the channel, leave comments below the videos, and visit my channel often. Thank you very much. Then I removed all the small lead bulbs on the light box. Then I removed all the small LED bulbs on the light box. I will use black paint to paint a layer on the surface of the light box. Next, I used a sheet of aluminum and used the knife to cut straight lines on it. Continue cutting horizontally to get small rectangular pieces of aluminum. Next, I took a piece of aluminum foil and cut it into several small rectangles. Note, cut the foil piece larger than the aluminum I just cut. I used aluminum foil to fold the aluminum so that the four corners were sealed. Note, take extra care to get the best performance from the aluminum pieces. Next, I arranged all the aluminum pieces I made into the light box in an even order. Then I used special glue to attach each piece of aluminum to the light box. Next, I used a soldering iron to apply tin to each piece of aluminum. I use copper wire to connect the pieces together. Then use the wire to connect to the output of the aluminum pieces. Do the same with the other end of the wire. Now, 
Next, I installed the light box frame. Next, I used a camera tripod to make a base for the solar panel. I use a camera tripod to mount the solar panel. Note, I use special glue to attach the camera base to the back of the battery pack. Next, I use a connector. I used scissors to cut off the end of the string. Connect the adapter jack and the two outputs of the solar panel. Then use tape to carefully seal the joints. Continue using tape to secure the two wires together. I finished the solar panel, now it's time to test it. I took the homemade battery pack up to the rooftop where it was sunny. Then I attached the battery pack to the tripod. Next, I used a transformer circuit so that I could use 220 volts. I use a fan to use the electricity from the solar panel. Next is the incandescent bulb. It's great that both the fan and the light bulb work well.
You see, when I change the light absorption angle of the solar panel, the electrical appliances immediately stopped working. This proves that the solar panel I just made works extremely efficiently and accurately. Let me admire the fruits of our labor. Please subscribe to the channel, leave comments below the videos, and visit my channel often. Thank you very much. If you like this idea, don't forget to give me a like and hit the notification bell to see the latest videos. Thank you very much.